just gobbled. Of course, he's on the other side on that point. <laughs> I heard a turkey just to my right, just down off the edge. Sounded like a hen. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the channel. I'm Chad Claycomb. You're watching the Fired Up Day by Day Spring Turkey Hunting Series. I'm sitting here in West Virginia this morning. And I'm second guessing myself on the last day of the season. The last two times I was in here, I've heard a turkey and I know one time for sure he was roosted on that side of the hall on a skinny little finger. And the other time, I'm not sure where he was roosted because I didn't hear him till later in the morning, but he ended up being on this side of the hall. Thing about it is, if I go out here on this side and he is over on that skinny little finger, and he stays over there gobbling. I can walk out of here and drive around to him. And now that I've done it, I know that it takes an hour and a half to walk it down and up. And it also takes an hour and a half to come around driving. So it's a lot easier to come out here and drive around. It takes the same amount of time. So. But my hope is I can get out here on this side and drop in on this little finger on this side and maybe he'll be on that little point. We'll see how it goes. He just gobbled. Of course, he's on the other side on that point. I'm just gonna call to him from here and see what happens. If he likes what he hears, maybe he'll pitch across. If not, if he keeps gobbling, which I don't expect. But if he gobbles some more, I'll probably just head out of here and run around there. It is kind of cloudy, but man, it's late.
never hit the call once. Never even hit her once. He's got to be right with her. They sound like they're right together. On that point, right where I was going to go, of course. Dang it. Should have went with my gut. I'm just going to be patient for a little bit. But I don't have much of it. Not on the last day. Maybe that hen will leave him and he'll fire up over there and either pitch across here or keep gobbling over there and allow me to get around to him. Debating on whether I should go out around to him or just completely abandon this spot and head somewhere else. It's not even 8.30 and I'm in the truck trying to decide what to do next. I don't think I'm going to drive around to that other turkey because he just didn't show any interest whatsoever I'm pretty sure that hen was with him he didn't even gobble to her maybe I could come back to him at like 10 or 10 30 I think I'm just gonna drive out the road here and hit a piece that I haven't been on all season See if I can find anything. I know it's been hit pretty good. you've been hunting for a few days that gobbles one time on the limb. You start calling to him, he doesn't answer, but a hen right there with him does. She yelps and cuts a few times and then she shuts down. He never answers her, he never answers you. <laughs> what would you do? It's late season, it's the last day. Would you stick with him? Or would you go try to find another one that wants to play? It's a situation that we as turkey hunters run into, if not a weekly basis. It usually happens a time or two throughout the season. So what would you do? Leave a comment below and tell us what you would do.
walking out this road along the ridge top and I was just about to say I haven't seen any droppings no tracks no feathers no dust bowls no nothing no turkey sign whatsoever on that road the whole way out this ridge just as I was about to say that I heard a turkey just to my right just down off the edge clucking and purring sounded like a hen but I hurry up and fell off the back side of the ridge and swung around here and gonna make a big loop and try to get out here in these nice woods in front of it it's getting late quarter after 11 it almost sounded like there was two turkeys there clucking probably a couple hens not sure though but I'm gonna swing around the point here and get in these open woods and call to her and see what she does maybe she has a gobbler with her you never know open woods and she's straight out in front of me she couldn't have been maybe 150 200 yards at the most I'm just gonna sit down right here and get set up That's going to wrap up the West Virginia season. Not exactly the way I envisioned it ending. But I can't complain. It was a good season. I had several chances and boogered most of them up because of this camera. There weren't too many days where I didn't at least hear a gobble this year. So that's a good thing. I had turkeys to chase most days. And, I mean, how can you complain when you got views like this and smell the smells and hear the sounds of spring and get to see the sunrise out in the woods as much as I have this year? You, you can't beat it. Whether you kill a turkey or not, it's a successful season. But anyways, I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks for sticking with me. Got one week to go in Pennsylvania, so I'm going to give it heck as much as I can. We'll see you next time, guys. I thought I might have heard a turkey, but I'm not 100% sure. There's a little point back in here I thought it could be on. Just gonna walk back in here a couple hundred yards.